What's up YouTube? Jesse James Fitness here. Today I'm gonna to bring you a topic of the truths about building a bigger chest. And there's a few things I wanna go over, just about how to, um, things that people tell you that are wrong, and basically just give you an idea of how to get a bigger chest overall. I've done a video about this in the past, of how to fix your lagging chest, but this is more about just overall chest, not just fixing that lagging body part, but actually telling you what works and what does not. To start, I wanna talk about how Alternating between incline and flat between your two workouts. So you should try to hit chest twice a week if you can. An A chest day and a B chest day. And for the A chest day, you're gonna do incline first. And for the B chest day, you're gonna do flat bench first. So whether you're gonna do a flat bench for strength or flat bench, flat bench for size, it's up to you. So pretty much what you wanna do is just alternate back and forth. That's what I do. I hit chest twice a week. And that should help you increase frequency and overall have a better looking chest. Next, you wanna make sure you vary all the angles and exercises, as you see. I do a landmine press, I do uh, an incline press, a decline press, I occasionally I throw dips, all different types of flies. So you gotta make sure that you're hitting the chest at all different angles because it made up of the inner, upper, lower, and outer. So you gotta make sure you touch all those pieces if you wanna sculpt your chest into the best possible looking thing. Um, third thing is make sure you're actually feeling the muscle. So a lot of the times when people are doing things, they're not actually feeling the muscle because they don't have a mind muscle connection or they really don't have a good one. So pretty much, you gotta make sure that you always are feeling the chest, which is not easy, but you gotta find different, try picking different arches on your back to make sure you feel the chest the most. Um, a thing I like to think of is as if your chest was a zipper. You're gonna zipper from the bottom up, so you're gonna flex from the bottom up always on all your chest pressing movements. And for flies, just make sure you go all the way, getting a full range of motion. And that goes on to my next point of getting a full range of motion. What is range of motion? It's the distance, the weight is gonna go. And basically, if you ever heard someone say you're gonna do a quarter rep, which is what you don't wanna do, you don't wanna be a half repper, as they say, you wanna be a full repper. So what you wanna do is make sure you're doing full range of motion by going all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom, or when it's gonna fly, all the way to the middle and all the way out. Making sure you utilize every machine to its fullest and making sure that you are squeezing the best out of the muscle at the top of the contraction and getting the best stretch at the bottom. Um, as you see, I'm doing some flies and that's what I really utilized the most, the full range of motion of making sure I touch my hands together, otherwise the rep does not count. That is a thing that you can do is that only good reps count, so it'll be really hard. It's like being really honest with yourself. It's a little bit more tough than, than normal because you gotta drop a big ego, but it's definitely worth it if you can do it right. Um, and lastly, it's always control the weight. Um, it avoids injury, of course, and make sure you're always controlling the down of the movement and the up by exploding, because if you can't control the weight, then you gotta lower it and make sure you're working on your form first, then strength. So I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you really learned something from this. Hope that you take away something from this. And you know, just have a great day. And like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.